video. Don't quite have their uh, their signature coloring. coloring yet. Yes, yes, they do. I mean, they're cute like that. And there. oh, look at it as they get older. Yeah. Anyway, we could look at panda video <laughs> all day, but we um, we'll, we'll move on to weather. And, and you've got a significant day behind you there, Josh. Yes, a very significant day. A lot of folks probably remembering this day not so fondly. It was the Columbus Day storm that took place on October 12th of 1962. You might remember that those wind gusts exceeded 100 miles per hour in many locations. Again, now just a distant memory, but still really fresh for a lot of folks who had to deal with this massive storm. A much different picture for us though today with some beautiful views of Mount Hood at sunrise showing the fresh layer of snow that once again fell across Oregon's high terrain. And that's going to be the trend as we work our way closer towards the weekend. Seeing this new elevation level dip again Friday into Saturday. That's where we expect to see the return of some moisture here across the Pacific Northwest. But all is calm, quiet, and now clearing out towards the downtown Portland area after a bit of a cloudy and foggy start to the day. Temperatures already managing to get back up into the mid 60s, but we take that sunshine roll all the way through the rest of this afternoon as we manage to climb back up into low 70s. But as we proceed closer to the evening hours, we'll start to see those winds kick up out of the east ever so slightly once more as our skies are on the clearing trend, but it's those east winds that will start to ramp up that will help to continue to dry us out, clear out our skies and push our temperatures closer to the 70 degree mark. And as all is quiet and calm now, that that comes off the heels of seeing over three quarters of an inch in the rain gauge for the month of October here at Portland and seeing that below normal rain deficit grow to over a tenth of an inch. So yes, we have seen the moisture once again return and that's helped to kind of clear up some of our drought situation, specifically along the Oregon coast, removing the extreme drought that fell back over that region just last month. So small improvements are improvements nonetheless. As we see those wind gusts this afternoon and evening pick up close to about 15 to 20 miles per hour during the overnight hours could tip the scale of about 30 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts not settling down until we get to tomorrow afternoon. So that brings us to later this evening seeing a slight chance for maybe some isolated power outages as we see the clearing skies still remain but you'll notice the next cloud deck marching its way on shore just in time for sunset this evening and then we're socked in with the widespread cloud coverage but still dry for the start of the day Friday. It's not until we get to the late evening hours that we see our next batch of wet weather find its way back into the I-5 corridor, the coast and the Cascades getting in on a few of those additional snow flurries. So that's going to continue to fill up our rain gauge. It's close to about a tenth of an inch for Portland, a quarter of an inch for some of our coastal communities today. Seeing those clouds break apart, temperatures return to the low 70s and those winds will gradually pick up throughout the rest of the day. But for the 2023 solar eclipse, the annual one that is going to give us a ring of fire. That is if the clouds don't completely block it out. Seven day forecast does show that those temperatures will remain into the mid to upper 60s throughout the weekend. And by the time we roll into Monday, Tuesday, that's where the heaviest of the rain is expected to return. But at least our temperatures kind of holding steady into the mid to upper 60s, low 70s. That's where we should be for this time of year. So that is a positive note. It is. And now I realize why I had ring of fire in my head yesterday. I'm like, why do I have that song in my head? Now I know. Yep, yes. it's coming for us. Okay, <laughs> we'll be right back with more news and a final check on that forecast.